And now that you've gotten through some of the basics of hustle, we wanted to give you some information of the technique for some of the advanced beginner movements in hustle, such as the wrap. The wrap turn for the follower is a one and a half turn, and is usually the most challenging step for any follower to start with. So we wanted to give you some basic movement on how to get into it and work with it, so that we can then discuss how to do the wraps and the shadows. And it will guide you through. So followers, first of all, since this is a turning step, I recommend that you work on this step on a smooth, non-carpeted surface. Practicing your turns on a carpeted surface can be very damaging to your knees. So make sure that when you work on your wraps, or your one and a half turns, you aren't on a carpet, you're on a smooth, smooth surface with non-stick soles on your shoes. So in our one and a half turns in Hustle, we have to complete one and a half rotations in our three counts. We begin back breaking as always on the right leg. And one. Followers, we're going to close our legs and face the other direction. Two. Then we're going to turn slightly and step with our left leg. Three. We're going to pivot around all the way and an and one on our right leg. And one. Followers, you should notice that I ended facing the opposite direction that I started. So, once again, facing this way, we have and one, your legs come together, two, we step, a small step, three, and we're going to pivot all the way around on our left leg, and one. Now followers, from the other direction, it looks like this. And one, we close two, we take a small step, three, and then we're going to pivot all the way around on our left leg, and one. Now if we add the arms, it's going to look like this. Followers begin in an open position with your left arm forward. We have and one. Now bring your arms together in front of you just about your sternum or diaphragm level, two. Now as we step three, three, our arms remain in front of us, and as we pivot 180 degrees around to face the other direction, our arms are going to open, but this time with our right arm extended forward and our left arm out to the side. And one. From this direction, it looks like this. And one. Close two, small step three, and one. I'll do it facing away from you so you can follow along. We have and one, close two, small step three, and one. If I begin facing you, I'll end facing away. And one, close the arms, two, small step three, and one. Now, if you do this with a leader, you'll notice that your arms can't stay in front of you the whole time. That's just a nice, stable place to practice. So, leaders, we're just going to show you as a demonstration the wrap turn. We have and, and one, close two. two, and as she continues to turn, follows your hand will come close to the body, but your right arm will still be in front of you. And we continue and one. Followers, you can either have that ending arm on the leader's near shoulder, or you can style, style that out. So we'll do it, do it again, basically, this way we have. And one. Close two. Small step three. And one. For the shadow, same idea. We're controlling, again, the same arm, the follower's left hand. And we have. And, and one. Two. Small step three. And one. Once again, we have. And one. Two, three, and one. We're going to have further discussion on the wraps in the shadow coming, but we wanted to give you the technique on the one and a half turns to get you started. Now, followers, you may have noticed that as I was turning, I was keeping my knees a little bit soft. You definitely don't ever want to lock your knees out when you're dancing. If you're ever in a short skirt, you may want to keep them slightly straighter, but if you're in pants or a long skirt, you can keep them a little bit softer. It's what feels comfortable for you. So let's take a look at this again, as she has her and one, and one, as she comes around, this is that point where she's softening her knees to absorb energy and keep the feeling of this step smooth. She comes around for step three, 
and she's driving her right shoulder around and her torso around and her hips around. That allows her feet to roll open, the toes will roll open, but the ankles are close together, relatively close together, to keep that tight feeling on the turn so that I can go around her and my follower can actually develop speed and remain stable during this step. Nice work. Thanks for watching.